first on CNBC interview is Winnebago Industries CEO Michael Happy. Michael, it's great to see you. Um, you know, we traditionally think of the summer as a vacation time when families would hop in an RV and drive across the country. What was it about the fall quarter that ended November 28th uh, that saw such strong year over year comps for you? Well, we continue to see an extended season, really, I think, of people enjoying the outdoors. And so retail activity has remained quite robust into the fall and even early winter months. And the wholesale environment for shipments into our dealers is quite strong as well. Their inventories have been uh, uh, really quite low since the summer retail was at record levels. And so just really nice tailwinds for our business here in the last quarter. You know, I'm looking at the backlogs. It increased to nearly 30,000 units. It's an increase of 313 percent based on some of those trends that you were just talking about. So what does that mean for 2021 and how many consumers want to buy an RV who were not able to get their hands on one uh, in these last few months? Well, we were really pleased, obviously, with the way that consumers flocked to the outdoors uh, in 2020 as they tried to manage through the pandemic's impact on their lives. And we believe you'll see more of a, a similar behavior trend in 2021. Uh, and so there is a, a great deal of pent-up demand, we believe, by consumers who uh, perhaps were interested in the space and the category uh, earlier this year and maybe didn't pull the trigger, uh, but are still very excited to explore a way to get into RVing and boating in uh, 2021. So we're very optimistic about retail conditions uh, going forward into the next calendar year. What have you learned about who is buying a Winnebago for the first time? What sort of demographics they are and, and how do you plan to keep them? Well, we really are seeing the, the demographics change in a meaningful way. Our, our consumers are, are getting younger. Uh, they are becoming more diverse in terms of uh, background and profile. Uh, and they're using the products in, in many different ways. I mean, the, the work from anywhere trend is quite strong right now. And, and a lot of our new consumers are seeing these products as a way to, uh, to uh, you know, work from the road or, or a beautiful campground, uh, you know, somewhere here in America. So uh, we intend to work very closely with our dealers to try to obviously provide them high quality product, uh, but take care of them after the sale as, as best we can. But uh, for those of you who have, who have been lured to the outdoors before and enjoy camping or RVing or boating, you know, that, uh, that experience can be intoxicating and, and contagious, and we depend on that here going forward. Michael, our uh, colleague Jim Kramer has always been fond of saying that uh, in times of economic distress, people will pay for their cars before they pay for their mortgage because you can live in your car, but you can't drive your house to work. And I'm wondering, with your line of sight into the market that you operate in, um, what is the picture of consumer credit right now? How many people uh, are choosing to buy RVs instead of a home uh, because of perhaps some of this economic in uncertainty? Well, I don't know the answer to the question of whether they're buying an RV versus a, a home, uh, but I do know that the uh, the credit environment around our business remains quite stable. You know, we're in touch very regularly with the retail financing entities and the inventory financing uh, entities, and they are all commenting that conditions remain stable, uh, that the credit scores are in a good position for those applicants who are, are looking to buy and invest in the space. Uh, and we believe there are limited outdoor leisure uh, alternatives for people uh, going into 2021. And, and they see this as a way to have, again, a safe, controllable experience with family and friends. And, and again, it's, it's something they enjoy. Michael, thank you for joining us. Stock's up more than 7% off that earnings beat. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.